Coming up as a wee lad, there were many things that I loved to do to pass my time. Sometimes I was outside goofing off with my friends, or I was inside playing some of the most funnest games ever produced in the early 2000s. One of my most favorite things to do to pass the time, it had to be watching cartoons. Now, if I wasn't watching Dragon Ball Z, then I was flicking through some of the best channels ever at the best time period ever. I'm talking about Disney Channel, Toon Disney, which eventually turned into Disney XD, I think, which was also goaded, Jet X, Nickelodeon. But for me, it was always this one channel that stuck out amongst all the others. It showed the most consistency in good shows throughout time. The channel I'm talking about is Cartoon Network. Cartoon Network reigns supreme over all the other channels. None of the other channels can go banger for banger with Cartoon Network. It's just not possible. They have Billy and Mandy, Ed, Ed and Eddie, Codename Kids Next Door, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, Ben 10. Then as time went on, we got Adventure Time, Regular Show, The Amazing World of Gumball. I mean, it was banger after banger after banger. I don't get me wrong, through time, there was some stinkers that snuck their way in there, like dude, what would happen, then destroy, build, destroy. I mean, it was either some lame ass invention, some lame ass explosion at the end of the episode on destroy, build, destroy, or on dude, what would happen, they would see how long it would take them to make a full bowl of popcorn with a magnifying glass. Very boring, very awful shows. But those shows aside, Cartoon Network was goaded. That is until I started to notice a few shows that snuck through the cracks later on in Cartoon Network. And these shows are some fucking stinkers. I noticed it around 2010. This show tried to sneak in with Adventure Time and all those other shows. Like, bro, what you doing? We see you, dude. Robo Tommy. Now, uh, I don't know if I pronounced that show name right. I don't really care. I don't know where to start. This shows character development or character designs. And let me start this off by saying, I in no way watched this show ever before in my life, but it came on right around the time the worst Cartoon Network show was invented. So I have to mention this show because it's kind of what started the evolution of the shitty Cartoon Network shows. This show had one season, one, not even that long. I think it was like 10 episodes. I tried to watch the first episode to maybe give some input during this video. I couldn't do it. It felt like I was watching it in 0.75 speed. It felt like I was watching it in reverse. I'd rather get in the shower, get my feet nice and soft, and then walk on a pallet of Legos than to watch this show. The show looks like its main focus is supposed to be comedy, but there's none of that. You're not gonna laugh at all, not once. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next show on this list because I can literally feel the kidney stones forming inside of me. While recording this, I am literally beginning to salivate out of boredom just talking about this show. Up next, a show that... <coughs> I'm sorry, I just had to hit the Benjamin because this show was so goddamn boring. Up next, we have Secret Mountain Fort Awesome. <sighs> yeah, this show has a ass in it. A ass with ass for hands and abs. That's one of the characters that this show has. To just show you how ass it is. Another one of his characters is a tennis ball with acne, yellow teeth, and arms. Okay, so there's another character here. By looking at him, I can tell you that he has to be racially made. There is no way by looking at this picture that he is not some type of mockery of some other race. We have a little blue thing. Like, it's like the writers got real lazy. It's like they just drew an outline of a character and then just colored it in. And then we have our main character, which is basically just a purple liver king with fangs. This show was awful. Um, a complete waste of money and time, a complete waste of a time slot. This also came in around the same time as the other show. I completely forgot the name of it. That's how forgettable the name of that show is. This show fucking sucked. Uh, the title is nonsense. The characters are nonsense and it's based around nonsense and not like the quirky good kind of nonsense that Cartoon Network usually is. This, this is this is a cesspool of shit. I know what you're thinking. Did I watch an episode of this? No, there's no way. There's not a bone in my body that could watch an episode of this. I don't have enough narcotics on me to watch this show. Um, the animation looks fucking disgusting. It makes my skin crawl. One thing I do remember is uh, the main character's personality uh, from commercials, and it's about as one dimensional as it gets. And I'm pretty sure the ass character only talks in farts. 
This show definitely contributed to the downfall of Cartoon Network, or at least his fall from glory, 100%. Next on the shit show, we have The Problem Solvers. Now this show was a two pack of ass, an epileptic seizure sandwich. I believe this show had hands down the worst animation I've ever seen in my life. Not only can you see like the rough drawings of where the characters were drew, but you can see every frame of movement in each of the movement of the characters. Their body parts are different sizes. They're just a bunch of nonsense. It's quite literally like like the writers just were on drugs or on some type of acid. There's a special quirkiness about this show too, like they only eat pizza and they really drive home the fact that they love pizza and they can't get enough of it because pizza is the only food in the world to them because they like pizza and pizza runs the world and, and, and more pizza. One of the main characters, again, has to be racially motivated. There's no way no one drew this character and thought this is a neat looking character. It's basically just like a piece of shit with a dent in its head and some pink lips on it. And it basically just kind of growls and eats pizza all the time. That's what he does. I mean, he can speak, but it's literally usually just nonsense. He just blurts out voice lines sometimes. And it's usually something about him being hungry and wanting more pizza. The other character with the Pepe meme frog eyes and his quirky counterpart, Angel Dust Gus, they usually just spend the first 10 minutes of the show spewing voice lines at each other. No problem ever actually gets solved. This show is a color colorful throw up piece of shit mess. I'm really gonna move on to the next show because I'm tired of looking at the animation. I'm quite literally getting nauseated just looking at the show. Honorable mention, Clarence was ass. But what you've all been waiting for, the complete worst show of Cartoon Network history. That's right, you guessed it, Steven Universe. Nah, I'm fucking playing. It's Uncle fucking Grandpa. This show fucking sucks. From the awful writing to the awful creative decision with the character designs. I mean, we have Reptar, but this time he may be on some type of harder drug. We have Pizza Sieb, the talking pizza, and he's the coolest character on the show because once again, pizza is cool. Kids love pizza, and if you're not eating pizza, then you're not cool because you're not eating pizza. And pizza is cool because... And then you have the PNG art of a real tiger kind of just copy and paste it onto the screen. And then you have, last but not least, Uncle fucking Grandpa. One of the worst character designs I've ever seen in my life. He's basically just supposed to be some sped uncle, grandpa, I guess, who lives in an RV. What do they do on this show? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Do they solve problems? Maybe. I think they just have internal affairs in their apartment that they share. But in all seriousness, this show fucking sucks. It is horrible. It is a colorful piece of shit mess. If you notice that a lot of the shows that I mentioned here are just colorful and awful. They're just colorful, wacky nonsense. The animation is terrible. It's like they gave the writers $50 and told them make it happen. And this is what they came up with. Uncle Grandpa, the quirky, cool, wonderful show where all your friends you don't like are grouped up and they, I don't know, just kind of have everyday issues, I guess. I don't know. I've never watched the show and I never will. You can't pay me to watch this show. There may be clips in the background of this video, but I did not watch it. I promise you. If there was an episode of Grandpa Grandpa on and I didn't turn it off, then the only reason was because I didn't feel like getting up and I must have really didn't feel like getting up. But anytime this show came on, I dove for the remote. I dived for the remote. I would have fought Mike Tyson in his prime for the remote in order to turn Uncle Grandpa off. And the other thing about those other shows, they had like one or two seasons. Uncle Grandpa had five seasons. There was enough people watching this show to have it go on for four more seasons. There is someone on this planet who watched five seasons of a grandpa in a fanny pack and his pizza companion, his tiger companion, and I guess dinosaur lizard companion for five seasons. Ladies and gentlemen, this generation is cooked.